Welcome to the open course presentation by the Department of Physics, Energy and Environmental Studies is the open course offered by the Physics Department. As the name suggests, it deals with the broad topics of energy and environment. The goal of this presentation is to explain to you why we are offering this particular course and why taking it would be beneficial to you. We start by discussing about environment and energy and conclude with a brief description on the contents of the course and the prerequisites required to enroll in this course. As mentioned earlier, our open course deals with the broad topics of energy and environment. Let us move on to discuss what do we mean by the word environment? One of the definitions given by Oxford Dictionary to the word environment is the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal or plant lives or operates. On a local level, our home is our environment. The boundaries of the environment can be enlarged to include our locality as shown on the left hand side of this slide. At the same time, on a global level, we can also say that planet Earth is our environment. Having discussed the idea of environment, let us now discuss what is energy. Energy is the ability to do work. For example, we spend energy to lift a weight. Similarly, we need energy to move around. Currently, I am spending energy to speak to you. You are spending energy to listen to me and to understand my words. If we carefully spend a bit of time and think about energy, we will arrive at the conclusion that without energy, we cannot live. This is one of the points which I want you to take home, whether you join this course or not. I repeat, energy is the ability to do work. And, without energy, we cannot live. Let us move on to the next interesting question. From where do we get the energy we need? Simply speaking, we derive it from the food we eat. We are relying on the energy stored in the food we eat. Plants are storing the energy derived from the sun. All plant eaters are deriving this energy. This allows us to talk about ideas like the food chain and so on. We are not relying on food alone for our energy needs. In addition, we rely on fossil fuels, nuclear energy, hydroelectricity, renewable energy sources etc. for our daily needs of energy. We have discussed two points so far energy and environment. How are these two related to each other? The answer is, we take all the energy we need from our environment we are living in. This is the second point which I want you to take home from this presentation. I repeat, we are taking the energy we need from the environment we are living in. This brings me to the course contents. The course contents are chosen with the goal of creating a concern among students on the broad topics of energy conservation and environmental protection. In brief, the course outline is as follows. It deals with the energy sources which are currently accessed and brings out the need for conservation of energy and the need for increasingly depending on non-conventional energy sources like solar, tidal etc. There is a detailed discussion on various solar energy based devices which one can implement in daily lives. In addition, the basic ideas on environmental pollution and its harmful effects are touched upon. The need for bringing pollution levels to a minimum is emphasized. The course also deals with environmental impact assessment and statutory provisions concerning conservation of environment. A student who attends this course 
would definitely gain a better understanding of the energy sources currently available to us and the environment we live in so that he or she might aim for sustainable living. You will be able to understand news pieces like this in a better way. This open course is a purely lecture based three credit course consisting of 72 teaching hours. In other words, there are no laboratory sessions. Only a basic understanding of plus two level science is required. No mathematical background is required. You will be assessed based on your performance in exams, seminars and assignments. Activities like field visits, group discussions, energy audits are also planned. Undergraduate students from all streams, except those from physics, might enroll for this course. Why did we choose to offer this particular course and why we recommend this to you? It is because we believe it offers an excellent understanding of our energy sources and the environment we live in. Attending this course will enable you to aim for sustainable living. If you need any clarifications please contact Sibi Matthew, Matthew George or Obichirian. Let me conclude by extending our best wishes for your undergraduate studies here at Sacred Heart College.